Hi everybody, it's Friday, November 24th, and I just thought I would pop on and show you what I got made so far this week. Um, I am going to Michael's this morning because I got to get some more polyfill, um, and then I'm working later, so um, yeah, I just thought I'd pop on and show you what I got made so far this week. Uh, so I made some more Mushy Boys in different colors because the only color I have left in my stock is red so I got eight more done so I did some in lilac some in mango and then I did a couple in seaside and I'll probably do a few more in a couple of different colors because as you can see by my table behind me I got both of my premier um, parfait chunky orders in the mail um, and I accidentally deleted my unboxing video so I've already dipped into the yarn so I'm not going to refilm it but that's what I got in two shipments um, so I have some new patterns to show you they are all from Jade every single one of them um, she's like my favorite uh, crochet designer. Um, I just, I love her patterns. So the first pattern I bought was, it's a whale and a shark bundle. So I pumped out a couple of whales and the pattern is a small, a medium and a big whale. And then you can also do a small, medium, and big shark. They're pretty much the same pattern. So here are the little whales. These are the medium ones. And I did like, I did eight. I did two in the light dusty rose. I did two in um, blue. just have a bag beside me. I did two in mango and I did the parfait chunky for these and then I did two in seaside. So I made eight medium whales in parfait chunky um, and the shark uh, is the same pattern except you add a dorsal fin and then you just the tail is done differently so it's this way instead of like flat. But I didn't make any of the sharks. I only made some whales. And then in the, the, the shark whale bundle, you can, there's a modification for orcas, like the killer whale. So um, I made like 15 of them. <laughs> I kind of went crazy with the killer whales. So I made a bunch. I made a bunch of killer whales in the Parfait Chunky. And then I just I decided to do, like I made a bunch of the medium ones. And then I made a large killer whale in the Parfait Chunky. Then I made a medium whale in the Parfait Chunky and I used a 4.5 millimeter hook. And then I did a little whale in the Parfait Chunky. So I did a small, medium, and large in the Parfait Chunky. Well then, I couldn't just stop there. I'm like, well, I wonder what the sizes will be in the Michaels yarn, because they'll be a little bit bigger. So I made a large whale in the Michaels, a medium whale in the Michaels, and then I made a small whale in the Michaels. So this is a small in the Michaels and this is a small in the Parfait Chunky. So this is a little bit of size, size difference. And I'll take a picture of all the whales on my table so you can see like how many I made. <laughs> like I should be just making one and two and if they sell then I'll know to make more but no I just went crazy. I got some more. I decided, well, I want to see what they look like in the Burnett blanket. 
So I made a large, I made a medium, and then I made a small. So this is small in the Parfait Chunky. This is a small in the Michaels. I don't know if I can hold these so you can see the different sizes. And this is a small, oh, my hair, in the Bernat blanket. So I just kind of went to town and they're so cute. And I'm like, kids are gonna eat these up. Like they're gonna be a hit. And my husband, he's like, you say that about everything you make. <laughs> but I mean at this time, I mean at this time. Okay, so I got like 15 killer whales here. I'll just see if I can pile some up on me so you can see how crazy I went. <laughs> oh, there's more. <laughs> there's more. Like, oops. Yeah, I did. I did 16 orcas killer whales. <laughs> I went crazy. So I will show a picture of them all on my table. Oh, now they're all over the floor. I'll pick those up later. Okay. So then another new pattern from all from Jade is she came out with um, a whale family um, same as the mama octopus and but it's a whale now I did not do the mama because I have three mama octopuses that haven't sold um, so I just did the whale I did I did the daddy version so here is the whale and I think it turned out super cute like I love it and you can do it so that the tail is straight or have it twisted a little bit. And I chose to have it twisted a little bit. And then there's an option to add a little mouth. So I did that. And I just think it's so cute. Like, I'll probably make another one. Um, this was in the Michaels uh, Sweet Snuggles Light. So I think I would like to try one in the Parfait Chunky to get it a little bit smaller. And then I, I used the um, eyes that I got off AliExpress. And I just, I think it turned out so good. And she has video tutorials in her, her patterns for the tricky bits. Because if you're a beginner, you'd have a hard time doing this, I think. Um, especially if you're doing the pouch like that holds the babies inside so I did a whale and I love him I, I think I'll make another one I don't know if I'll get it done um, this week but I have no markets this week um, I don't have another market until December 2nd so um, I'm off this weekend so I, I should get a good amount of stuff pumped out um, then I bought this pattern from all from Jade again I love her um, I bought it about two weeks ago and it was a it look it looks like a difficult pattern like just from looking at the picture so I just kept putting it to the back side putting it to the back side and then I'm yesterday morning before I went to work I'm like I didn't work till 10 so and I'm an early riser I'm like I'm gonna make one see how long it I, I didn't even tie myself so I'll have to tie myself next time. And I know a lot of people don't like spiders. So if you don't like spiders, you may want to look away. This is Sabrina the spider. Of course, I had to do her in my favorite colors. Matches my tattoo. Um, this, this was a lot easier than I thought. And again, she has videos in her um, pattern, shows you how to attach the legs, how to make the legs. Um, these little fangs are optional. And I wish I had done them in the body color. Next time I make one, I'll, I'll, um, 
I'll make it the same as the, the bum. But I love, this is, I think this is my most favorite thing that I've ever made. And look at the eyes. I used like the really sparkly silvery eyes. And then I put silver eyes back here too. And the pattern called for 28 millimeter eyes, which I didn't have, so I used 25 and I think it looks fine. And these I used 16 instead of 20, I think. But I, I'm gonna make more. I can't wait. I got a little bit of a cold, I think, too, so if I sound funny, that's why. I guess three markets in four days, you know, handling cash back and forth so much. Um, I think I got a little bit of a cold. So I do sound a little funny, so. But I love her. Her name is Sabrina the Spider. And I can't wait to make more. I, th I think she's my most favorite thing I've ever made to date. So yeah, I love her. So I made her. And then last night on Facebook, I had somebody reach out to me. Um, and they must have been going through like old pictures that I had posted. And I had done this um, purple and gray turtle with purple eyes. And she messaged me and she's like, I need that purple turtle. And I told her, I said, well, it's sold. I can make another one. So I made another one last night. And I'm actually going to meet up with her at Michael's because I got to go get some more polyfill. So she's going to pick this little guy up today. So I wanted to get this filmed um, so I could show you my, my turtle. Now, this turtle isn't all from Jade. This is one from YouTube and it's Rose and Lily. Look at that face, come on. Um, but I have not done this turtle since I found all from Jade's turtle because I, I, I just, I can whip her turtles out so much faster. So, but I had a request for, this is called Fred the Turtle and he's on YouTube and I'll, I'll link it in the description. But isn't he cute? I love him. I do like the floppy flippers. I do like that. You know, and it is a different look than the turtles I'm used to making. But yeah, I'm going to drop this cutie off today. So cute. So then I was in turtle mode last night. So then I decided to make another turtle. And this pattern is all from Jade. Um, but I decided to make the flippers just a little bit bigger. Just just trying different things, you know. And I love these eyes. So I decided to do um, a bright pink turtle shell to match his eyes. Like, I love mixing and matching. It's so much fun. And I'm low on turtles. I Like, my bin is... It's pretty empty. And... Two weeks ago, my, my bin was overflowing, so I do need to restock my turtles. Look at the faces, so cute, so cute. So I made another turtle. And then um, in my yarn order, I ordered yellow parfait chunky with the glitter in it. So I pumped out two bees quickly this morning with the sparkle yarn. I don't know if you can see that sparkle on camera or not, but I made, I just made two little bees. And I don't have a pattern for these because I just, I just, I don't know, like I just, I went through my history, I've never bought a bee pattern, um, so I just kind of make them, it's like the shape of a pill, and I used... 20 millimeter eyes and I just use silver um, but yeah I don't know if you can see that glitter so pretty so I made two little bumblebees so that's all I've got done so far um, and I'll upload this video on Monday so I still have the whole weekend to make stuff um, I do want to put my Christmas tree up this weekend only because I have a market and my grandmother's 97th birthday is next week. So next weekend I'm kind of booked up. So I, I think I'm going to put my Christmas tree up this weekend and then it's done. 
but I still got time to make stuff. Um, my recliner broke, so I can't recline anymore. And let me tell you, like I've, it's been awful for crocheting because I'm so like I need to be laid back a little bit when I crochet. So my husband crawled behind the couch last night, <laughs> and he got it to you know and recline again. But the buttons broke. Like when I press the button, it won't incline anymore. And I'm like, that's fine. It's I'll, I'll live with it for a little bit until we can get it fixed. I just won't push it down all the way. And I'll just have to crawl in and out of my recliner without, you know, putting it back in. So I made my bees this morning and then I got up to go make the coffee. And as soon as I got up, I heard the click of me, you know, my legs pushing the, uh, anyway, I, I messed it up. I can't recline again. So he's like, well, you're just going to have to live with it like that until I can fix it. But I need it. I need my recliner. So yeah. But anywho, I'll be back with more stuff. We'll see you in a bit. So I just got back from Michael's and I had only planned on buying polyfill. Well, I kind of forgot it was Black Friday and they had yarn on sale, um, buy two get one free. So I bought some more yarn. So. I have never used the size 7 yarn before, so I kind of wanted to make um, a turtle in the size 7 yarn. So I bought two green, because the best turtles are the green ones. I bought this, which I think would be good for the shell. I bought two of these, which is another good uh, turtle color. Um, I bought a jumbo yellow and a jumbo black because I thought, well, I'll make some jumbo bees too. So I got that. Then I got a jumbo look how awful the yarn like it's so picked over like I got a black variegated and I got this pretty red and they don't have this red in the size 6 so I want to make a spider and I think a red head with a black body would be so cool like I can't wait to make that hi baby yes and then I got another green and this pretty variegated which I think will look really good for turtle shells so one two three four five six seven eight nine I got 11 balls of yarn in the jumbo size well because it's buy two get one free I just got this this is uh, the size I usually buy, size 6. So, I bought more yarn. Did I really need more yarn? No. But now's a good time to buy the jumbo yarn and give it a try. So, it's a little after 12. I have to work at, um, I work 1 to 5. So I'll come home, have supper. And then I think the first thing I'm going to do is a large turtle. So that will probably be the next thing you see is a big turtle. So I'm anxious to see how much bigger it ends up being because I have not used this size before. And I hope that I like it because if not, I'll probably end up returning it. Because if it's not something that I'm going to enjoy using, I'll just take it back and... Uh, get the yarn that I'm used to so we'll see I'll let you know how it goes I'll make one turtle and and go from there so 
I'll be back in a bit. Hi everybody, I'm back. Uh, I did get three more things made. Um, so I went to Michael's yesterday and I bought some of that jumbo yarn. Uh, so the first thing I wanted to do was a jumbo turtle. So I made a jumbo turtle. I still am a little bit congested, so that's probably why I sound funny. But there he is. Isn't he gorgeous? I did silver eyes because I thought that would match his uh, shell really well. And he's quite a bit bigger than the other turtles that I make. So that's the difference in size. Here, let me see. Let me get them. Uh, so I made him. And then I made another turtle, and he turned out a little bit bigger than this one. So maybe this yarn was just a little bit thicker. So I made him. Isn't he gorgeous? I did copper eyes on him. Um, I didn't buy many 35 millimeter eyes because I didn't know that I would use eyes that big. <clears throat> so I'm kind of limited in the colors that I got. I just got like a glitter pack of different colors, but I thought the copper would look good, good on him. Um, let's see if I can do a size comparison with these two. If you can tell, like, one is just a little bit bigger than the other. Not by much. So, I did two big turtles. Not sure what I'm going to price them at. Um, my most expensive turtles are these turtles done in the Bernat blanket, and I sell them for $35. So... I'll probably have to do 45 or 50 on these ones and see how it goes uh, because I've never used this yarn before so I don't know um, and then and those are all from Jade as well then I made a big spider look how big he is He's huge. And I did his fangs in the same color as his bum this time. Um, so yeah, like, where's the other spider that I did the other day? Just so I can show you the size difference. So size six yarn and size seven yarn. And look at the difference in size. Isn't that crazy? So, I don't know. I might put 60 on him. Just because there's no way I can get two turtles. Two turtles. I, I can't get two spiders that have one, one color. Of either or. Like, so, the yarn doesn't go as far as the other turtles. Because I can probably get two turtles out of the smaller yarn. So yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to try 60 and see what happens. Um, I'd rather price a little bit higher than under price and yeah, and if I have him for a while then I'll, I'll lower him. But I think it's going to take the right buyer for something of this magnitude and somebody who loves spiders. I don't think they'll have a problem paying $60 for this so we'll see but I think he's super cool I would have done silver eyes on him if I had had um, silver but I used 35 mils and 25 mils and the only color I had that was in both sizes was the gold so I just chose gold but I think he's fine I would have liked to have done silver though. Kind of looks like he has a mustache. <laughs> but I love him. He's just awesome. Again, all from Jade. She's the best. 
So after I made him, I was just like chilling on my couch, watching my hockey game. And my dog, I look over, he's just laying down facing me. And he does this little eyebrow thing that his eyebrows go up and down like Dwayne the Rock Johnson. And I plumped, I think it was this turtle that I, I had just finished. And I plumped it on his head. He didn't even move. And his eyebrows were still going up and down. So I filmed them <laughs> for like a good minute. Didn't move, didn't phase him at all. So maybe I'll throw that video in after this. So you guys can see him. But yeah. So that'll be it for this week. I just wanted to thank everybody who's followed me, commented, liked my channel. Yeah, I appreciate it so much. And thank you to all from Jade. I love your patterns. Like, keep it up. You're amazing. So we'll talk to you later. Bye. You're hilarious. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you dig.